Number seven, as he goes out, he just takes a bad angle to Torres. He was unblocked, he was there to make a play, took a bad angle underneath the reception, and Torres was able to take it to the end zone. Torres came in as the leading receiver yardage wise of the wideouts of Texas Tech. That's only his second touchdown reception of the year, but it comes in a hurry. But they get on a second and short, they're going to run it, and they're going to get the first down, Crawford, and a lot more. Crawford puts his head down, lost his mouthpiece, but still got it across the 30 to the 30. Now Alexander's going to go inside, and the corner's going to come too far inside. And really, this mistake is on Gabe Lynn, number nine. He gets pushed too far inside, and he doesn't make Moore gave up on the pass a little bit. A try, quick opening draw. Crawford is into the secondary. Crawford all the way down to the 40-yard line. Seven. 6-11 remaining first quarter. That is going to be a lateral, I think, and it's going to be dropped for a loss anyway. It doesn't matter. Brennan Clay. Nice season and uh, read this quickly. Again, these offenses are very similar in the way they play and the pace that they play. So your defense is used to working against your own guy. From their own 26. Jones, time, steps up in the pocket, fires a slant, stills at his hands on it, and it was almost picked off. Nice. As Alec runs up on this and takes it on the fly at the 31. And he's got a nice return into Oklahoma territory. Long stretch handoff to Finch. Hit the backfield and down he goes. Maybe the final play of the quarter. Jones is time getting some pressure. Throws short across the middle and Reynolds really got popped as he dropped the ball. Keep moving the way they've been moving. That snaps clean and the handoff to Andre Washington who blacks through a hole and he's all the way up to the 38 yard. They get a big play. They like to go fast, get to the line of scrimmage. Washington has the first down. This is Crawford who's back in there. And Crawford, the strong run and maybe 10 more. We have to stop their run. They try to sneak run on you. They love to throw it. They spread you out. But if they can sneak. Tough run there that almost got him the first down. Now play action over the top. And it's James, Adam James, all the way down inside the five. Red Raiders. Oklahoma blitzes. The ball is bottled on the snap, and Dagey's going to score on a broken play. What do you get if you don't have a fullback? He did bobble the ball, but that was a quarterback run all the way. It was at least going to be a play fake yeah. to Kenny Williams right. then, but that did nope. Jones, nice play fake. Fires over the middle, crossing route, nice throw. Ron Rose, the ball came out. Texas Tech has got it. Dewhurst in the secondary with a fumble recovery. Sandwich at the end of the play. Crossing route, the deep route, he makes the catch, and then the ball is just ripped out. A beautiful wow. job. DJ at the Johnson. End of the play. Yep. DJ Johnson, that's what you're taught to do. Get your hand in there and rip as much as you can and in this case it pays off with Brett Dewhurst with a fumble recovery. The third down conversions again kind of a low snap. Nagy handles it fires across the middle and through a strike. <laughs> and I mean to come up with a stop here with Texas Tech up by a touchdown. Nagy pressure throws in the flat complete and a first down and a cutback by Douglas and Corny Douglas all the way down to the 19 yard line. This guy is going to blitz and Nagy's going to feel it and throw it right out in the area where he left. There's a voided area out there where the corner came on the blitz. He feels it. He gets the ball out there. And then Courtney Douglas does the rest. And how about Eric Ward, the wide receiver, coming back to give his uh, brother in the receiving core a block right there. Mm. Man. 21. Deggy. There's the slip screen again to Torres. He scored on this in the first quarter. He might do it again. <laughs> He's going to a touchdown. Blocks downfield. Receivers, linemen. Everybody getting on a block, sticking with it, and then Torres just reading it, almost like a punt return. Don't want any more Texas Tech points before halftime. DeAndre Washington, he might get some more points before halftime. DeAndre Washington in midfield, trying to be trapped down. Flags will fly as he's brought down at the 40. Time to do anything against us. That and don't make any mistakes. Oh, what a catch. 
Finch is going to flare out of the backfield. Here's Broyles, and he's hit the line of scrimmage. Consistent. That one's clean. Daigie's going to go up on top on the first snap, but he's got his man. Kennard all the way down to the 30-yard line. Offside, and they get the win. They go against Gabe Lynn. Again, the new starter in corner. They freeze him at the line of scrimmage, and then a beautiful throw by Daigie. Daigie on second down and four. Throws across the middle. Oh, my goodness. What a hit. And it's going to be helmet to helmet. On Lynn. Gabe Lynn with the collision. Out of the football and popping right back up. For Crawford. Oh, man. You can't hit above the shoulders. And it, it wasn't a lead with the helmet. He led with the shoulder. In the gun. Fade to the corner. Touchdown, Texas Tech to Torres, his third of the night. Touchdown with Torres. Beautiful back shoulder throw. Impossible to defend. And Torres adjusted the ball in the air. That's Neil Brown, the offensive coordinator. You just saw he's dialing up big plays like this. Warriors got it. Wow. Not the to third quarter, they said, let's go to the left side. Let's go on Gabe Lynn on the left side. And they're two for two. 48-yard pickup to the 26. Looking for more. Double this pass. double pass going to right back to the quarterback. Daggy tough catch over his shoulder. Daggy inside. Play well when you're up 30, but when you're trailing by 17 at home, you got a 39 game winning streak. Landry Jones avoids trouble, zips off a pass, and it's intercepted. Still is had it taken away by Trey Porter. We know Trey Porter went up and, and tipped it, bobbled it, and I think caught it on his way to the ground. I mean, he didn't catch it clean the first time. He's working on stills. The ball's thrown a little bit behind on the double move. Now watch Porter. He's going to go up and get his hands on it and then catch it cleanly on his way to the ground. Stills kind of gave up on the play, didn't fight for the football. And Porter was Fullback at 250 is the tailback in the eye here. Got some beef, and he's going to get the call. And the ball is out. Landry Jones caught it in midair and saved a disaster at the five-yard line. Broyles in a slot left, number 85. They come back the other way, broken up. Intended three without an interception. Now it's Washington, and Washington tough run. Well, what a great block by the left. This block by 65. He hooks the end in. Frank Alexander. Good block on the outside by the wide receiver, Eric Ward. Ryan Broyles has been somewhat quiet for the most prolific receiver in college football history. Jones has tried to step around the pressure. Whoa! Almost threw one to Terrence Bullock. In the center. Millard, the fullback, on the move. The handoff and his leg is drilled by Kyle. It may have been the biggest stop of the game for Texas Tech's defense, but it was really execution. These two guys, the left tackle and the center, both are responsible for these backers. And neither one of them is going to get their block. They're both going to kind of whiff. And both backers come into the hole and meet Clay for a huge stop on third and one. They were assigned to... Daigie going deep on the sideline. Is there going to be a flat line? On Aaron Coleman. Eat clock as well. Washington pops through on a quick opener. And Washington tricks. Draw. I mean, it's just draw blocking. Nice job right at the point of the attack. He's got 79 yards on 13 carries. And you take away Tony Jefferson getting him right there on the shoe top. Daggy. Deep ball. Left sideline, the adjustments made, and so is the catch by Kadar. And let the receiver adjust to the football. And he's five inches taller than the guy covering. Montre Hurst. I mean, Hurst is running for all he's got. Just to... All the way down to the final second. Daggy going to the end zone, wanting more and getting it. Oh, my. Touchdown. No signal yet. Swim I thought he had his, head, uh, his uh, foot down, and he did. This is an unbelievable throw. And tremendous effort by Swindle. I mean, to keep that one foot in. But you tell a quarterback on a fade, if you've got your man beat, throw it to the back corner of the end zone is exactly where Daigie threw it. The time before on the fade, he was even with... Third down and three. Jones going to go deep. The overshot. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Henry Jones, plenty of time to the end zone, an incomplete intended throw. Second down and 10. Finch flares out of the backfield. Jones comes to the middle, incomplete intended for Broyles and broken up by Johnson. Third down and 10. Jones pumps to the right, now goes that way. Need one. Is. There is. If it's not the end of the game, and he hit the uprights. Oh, no. The second time tonight, the field goal unit fails to do its job. Kick the football. Way. Here's the kick. It's up in the air, but it's caught by Crawford. And that is going to do it for Texas Tech. I'll tell you what, Crawford's had a nice ball game. Yep. I mean, you know, we talked about the loss of Eric Stevens. Crawford's run hard. He's run tough. He's taking care of the football. And he makes one last play here to help secure a victory. I guess minute and a half of our broadcast, I said to Tom, what they have tonight, Texas Tech, is a passer's chance. Guess what? The passer came through, didn't he? Sure did. Wow. Upset time in Norman. The 39-game home winning streak, longest in the country, goes by the boards. And a happy group of Red Raiders. They pull off the shocker. They shake up the BCS. They knock off number three, Oklahoma.